I love Canada. I really do. I've been there more times than I can count. I've always said that if I ever ran for president, my one issue would be taking over Canada. <laughs> now, the only negative about Canada is what I want to talk about is their health care. I think it's awful. And here's why. Let me give you a real example. I was filling up my car with gas one day. In Canada, the attendant was an elderly lady. Uh, the gas prices in Canada are just exorbitant. And so I asked her, I said, why are your prices so high? I mean, you have your own energy resources. And she said, oh, that's to pay for the free health care. And I laughed. I said, okay, cool. So how is your health care? And she said, well, here, no one will go bankrupt because of health care costs. I said, okay, but how is your health care? And finally, she said, well, honestly, if I needed a procedure quickly to live, then I would die. And for me, I'm sorry, that's bad health care. All right, you can have the best doctors, best hospitals, most wonderful health care services, but if you can't access those when you need them, that's awful. Now, Canadians that have a little bit of money, they can buy supplemental insurance. They can fly to America and have procedures done uh, so they will live if they have the money. There's an organization in Canada called the Fraser Institute, and they study uh, all the providers of health care throughout the country and give these annual reports on wait times. Listen to some of this. The average surgical procedure takes 20 weeks in Canada. So you're going to wait on average five months for any, any type of surgery. Neurosurgery, 50 weeks, almost a year. To get an MRI, the average wait is 11 weeks. I don't even know how that works, but that's the way it is. But guess what? You won't go bankrupt. Now, I experienced Canadian health care. I got hurt one time, had to go to the emergency room at a hospital. When I walked in, it was discouraging because it was packed with people, every seat taken. But then I noticed a door that said, for U.S. citizens only. I go in, and I was served immediately because there you have to pay for your services up front. They'll send a bill to your insurance company, but you got to pay. And, of course, they take credit cards. So I was served immediately because I paid. Everybody else, who knows how long they were there. That's my revolutionary idea for healthcare. by the way. You see, my worldview is this. I don't want the government to make any decisions concerning my health care. I don't want the government to even pay for my health care. Here's my revolutionary idea. I want to pay for my health care myself. <laughs> yes, I want to make the decisions about my health care myself. And I know that's strange, but that's what I want. And you say, well, what if you can't pay for your health care? Well, that's where the government can possibly help, by doing several things. Relaxing all the regulations that ends up costing us so much. Taking care of the waste that one doctor said could be as much as 50% of our costs for health care. How about a tax cut? Anything that the government can do to enable me to buy my own? Wow, that truly is revolutionary.